Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Zan. Yo, we out here at uh, Buff State, and uh, this this has been um this has been a tough one for me to make. Why? Why you may ask? Why is this a tough video for me to make? You've totaled a bike this year. Why can't you make a different video? Well, that's because I wanted this video to be perfect, and I had visions. I had dreams. And this is about a year ago I had these dreams. But uh, we're just going to have to show you guys. This is Hotel Henry. And my dumbass bought a Fiero. Yeah, yeah, here we are. Um, I bought a 1986 and a half Fiero. And I'll explain to you why, for those of you who don't know, why that's important. But I'd like to blame this, this, this purchase on Do It With Dan. And he may never see this, and that's fine. But, buddy, I appreciate what you do out there. Um, I know I'm a tiny little YouTuber, but you had a Fiero, and I'd never heard of it before because I'm a simpleton. And it made me want one. So this is the second one I actually looked at. Third, third, third one. I looked at another one that was broken all the heck and hell. And I ended up buying this. Uh, four grand? Four grand. Not great condition. Uh, well, I mean... Not bad, but not great. You'll see some things wrong as I go around the car. Just gonna give you guys a circle around. But it works. Everything works. So, uh, oh yeah, and, and you know, I kind of, kind of came in, fun. So that's it. Uh, I I I plan to show you guys this video like a year ago or a video of this car when I bought it a year ago. And I never got to it. Because I wanted perfection, and I couldn't do that anymore. I couldn't. I keep working on it. I keep fixing it. I keep doing things, and I want to bring you along with me, folks. Bring you along. So, oh yeah, um, it's my winter car. Some of you are gonna scream. I can hear. I can hear people seething right now. This is a winter car right now. Why? Because I wanted a car. I couldn't find anything I liked, and I needed something before winter. So this is what I came up with. Uh, but I'm cold. I'm very cold. So let's go hop inside. I'll show you guys some cool stuff. We'll do a couple tours around the outside when I warm up. But it's cold. So let's go. Whew. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's up, YouTube? Oh, we're in the car now. Let's start this thing. Um, first off, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Five-speed manual. She runs pretty well now. Uh, oh, oh, cover infringement. Turn that off. Uh, upgraded radio that was in the car when I got it. Gonna do some, gonna do some a lot of stuff in this car, so I'm not gonna share all my plans with you. Uh, but five speed manual, uh, adjusted a bunch of things on it, made it work really well. Uh, what else? What else is cool? With this car, uh, it is the six cylinder, which is two point. And I always do this. It's two point eight liter V six. It's back there. It's, it's back there. It's freaking cool. Uh, sunroof. First car I've ever, no, yeah, first car I've ever had with sunroof, and this glass comes off and goes under the hood. We're not gonna do that today. Power windows. <gasps> My 2007 had manual windows, so that's why I'm so excited. Um, 122.654.8.5 uh, on the odometer, but the engine back there was, uh, it's a 2012 uh, remanufactured engine, which means the, the, I have the paperwork for it. The bottom block is from, I want to say Spectre. Spectre, it was, it was bought through Advanced Auto. Spectre remakes or repurposes the blocks and everything, and then you put all your like uppers and everything back on it, and your intake and everything, and then you have a new engine. So it had zero miles on it after re, I'm going to call it reconditioning. Uh, this works. <gasps> Voila. Yeah, buddy. Lights all work. Um, so let's uh, let's let's look see if I can find something really quick in my uh, you know, my sketchbook here, something for you guys that I want to show you. No, no. Okay, so this was um, I'll do this with my camera. But I'll keep talking to you guys here. Okay. So this was my Fiero intro video I wanted to do. It's gonna park the car at one of our uh, beautiful parking ramps in Buffalo, overlooking the building, and then I was gonna have Heather and her but focus walk to the car slight so zoom in on the car get in the car and start it fade out and then i was going to do a walk around the front with the popping the lights up i was going to drive it down the ramp 
pan across the rear and driving video stills blah 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 this is my idea this was my storyboard this is all I sketched up and um yeah it, it, it yeah over a year ago over a year ago so story of this car um I went to Pennsylvania from Buffalo I looked at a uh, Fiera down there a 2000 no 2000 huh 1984 and it was it needed a lot of repair it needed headlights off um nothing worked on the dash it ran four speed manual torn up on the inside looked terrible but the guy wanted like 800 bucks for it so he goes yeah come on down i'll throw a battery in it for you the day you get here if you're interested and you can take it around the block i live in a little cul-de-sac you think neighborhood so i did that and i was like okay i kind of want one of these like this is fun but every time I put that thing in reverse, it crunched. It was terrible. It was like, oh, like I thought I broke the darn car every time. It was terrible. So then I looked at one in Lockport where the alternator was out, half the back end was apart, needed some work. Let's pop the trunk for this thing. And we'll do the front too, so I can show you guys what's going on under everything. And uh, so then I found this one. This guy had it listed on Facebook Marketplace is a Ferrari GTC. And I was like, that's a Fiero. So talked to him a little bit about it, blah, blah, blah. And that's when uh, I got rear-ended on my motorcycle. So, like, I slowed down a little bit. I ended up talking the guy down just a couple hundred bucks on this, like, just to make a nice round number for me. I was like, yeah, I'll give you, a, I think it was 4600 by the time I was done with him. But I think he wanted five grand for it. And I was like, meh, you know, let's see, I got to replace this and this and this. Give me kind of the money in between. And he was an older guy who couldn't really maintain it anymore, and it was tough for him to drive and get in and out of. So I drove it once, and the brakes sucked. And it ran rough, and I was like, you know what? Give me this. I'll fix it. I'll take care of it. And then for the past year, it's been just a slight nightmare of fun. Nightmare is in I keep finding more things to fix. Nightmare is in whoever put grease in this car, like just filled everything to the max and walked away. Nightmare as in uh, I keep finding other things I want to replace, but I'm on a budget because I'm an adult. And I'm not a big YouTuber like some of the other guys that can just dump money into stuff and make their views back. I can't do that. So uh, we're going to walk front to back of this car. And by walk, I mean I'll probably turn the car back on and sit here and talk about it. Of what I've done with this car. Because I've done a lot. But first, let's um let's get back out and put this back in gear. Because uh, I'll tell you why the e-brake doesn't work in a minute. And we'll go take a look at some stuff. Uh, first off, everything works on it now except for one light, which is fine. It's a marker light over here. I just got to replace the bulb. Uh, frunk, for those of you who don't know, spare tire, radiator, um, washer fluid, coolant, good, good level. Uh, wiper blades, garbage over here. People are probably like, what's this guy doing in the middle of the parking lot, in the back of the parking lot by himself? He's doing drugs? Yeah, basically. Um, spare tire is crap. I don't know if you guys can see the crap on it but it looks terrible i don't know which way this camera's looking either so i always do this it's crappy uh, i'm gonna have to replace that at some point but i need to replace all the tires at some point too they're good for now but when i replace all these like they got enough tread on them but they're starting to start to rot so we'll replace all of it we'll get a new spare on there too just because needs some more cleaning up front but i've started to do some stuff comes with the wind deflector that goes up there uh when you take the glass out and then the glass lays between here and here and just lays right on here it's beautiful uh, good things that happened to this car before I bought the darn thing was they upgraded the AC, which is down in here, to the new 134A or 134C or whatever the new nomenclature is, so it doesn't have the old Freon system, which is crappy and terrible. Uh, both headlights have been replaced with new bulbs, which are a little better, and that motor, yeah, that one's got some orange paint on it. That one's been replaced once already because it went. And, I, and when I bought the car, I got a whole bunch of parts for it, too. Uh, headlight motors, random-ass parts. And it went to a junkyard and uh, found more parts. Uh, just to come around the front just to talk about some stuff. As you can see, some paint popping off over here. The previous owner painted this, and I think it's a Ford Mustang color. And I hate it. I hate Ford Mustang colors. I don't know why. Like, I love orange, but not my orange. Um, these he painted black. The sides uh, sails because I'll come to the side before we talk about that. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I can. This is all spider cracked. Uh, it looks better wet. 
but it's all spider cracked and it's tough to see out of so he just painted it to make it look better but then when you're in the car trying to back up you can't see out of it got to replace those uh painted this satin black i don't like it i don't love it i definitely want to change that i want to i want to paint the whole car a new orange at some point but it's about mechanically sound and getting me through winter before painting anything everything back here works all lights it's not the prettiest looking rear it's got some some bubble in but it, it's it's watertight that's all that matters right now uh exhaust everything works and let's take a look back here oof driven water this is the 2.8 liter v6 um i've done a bunch of stuff to this too um it, first off the oil cap was the wrong oil cap when i bought the car so it was leaking oil <laughs> that was fun um some of you more seasoned Pure guys will see some stuff I've done here. And there's still more to do. And I'm actually going to look at something right now and see if I can pinpoint a problem. Yeah, there's a crack in that. Okay, so we have to replace those too. Okay. Found some cracked stuff before, and I'm just trying to replace some stuff. Um, trunk's actually pretty solid. The only water in here is because I put floor mats on each side of this that the previous owner had cut so that water doesn't drip down into the engine bay as much ice and snow so like the only water that's in here is that and i gotta get something to put those in and like take it out and dump like a bucket or something uh, i took the trunk fabric out because this is leaking slightly into it but you know things will get done everything else seems to work now a little rough at times but we'll talk about that uh i don't know what else we want to talk about here not much sunroof doesn't leak that's what matters yeah buddy uh, yeah, let's get back in. It's freaking cold again. Oh. Yeah, I had to wait uh, until winter to make a video of this because not the smartest person in the world. Look, here comes a plow guy to see what I'm up to. Let's see what he wants to talk about. Yeah, so plow guy came over just to see what I was up to. It's nothing bad. I'm not doing anything stupid. Um, let's find a nap. Uh, so let's talk about what I've done to this car already and what I well, let's just talk about what I've done to it We'll talk about what I want to do it in a different video, but Fiero, okay, there's my Fiero notes um, Bought the car About 3,000 miles less on I put 3,000 miles in a year because I don't summer I go everywhere with it I got to do an oil change on it soon I'm just gonna suck out here um, Start in the front I've replaced a couple motors. I think that one twice actually. I replaced it with one that didn't work well and I took that one apart and fixed it. It works now, but I've got like I got like six or seven motors uh, in my garage because the guy previous to me had a bunch and I pulled a couple more out of a junkyard. So I've got a couple more motors, so I just keep swapping motors instead of rebuilding them as well. Uh, which are a pain in the butt to fix, but whatever. Uh, replaced both bulbs. Replaced this one like the first week I had it the driver's side and then I replaced the uh, passenger side later and actually replaced both of them at the same time again because I blew both of them which is always fun uh, let's see let's see let's see let's go through this list um, I've got a whole like I, so I keep track of everything I do here on my uh, OneDrive it's something I've done or OneNote it's something I've done since college just to keep track of stuff so yeah I bought the car and it would not break to save its life it like hadn't run in a while so all the brakes were really really bad so I took all the brakes apart cleaned them all out looped everything back up sprayed everything down there's a lot of uh, meat on the pads and the rotors so I didn't have to change those but they just they just need to move so everything got a good nice degreaser on it uh, got some some scraping done because there was some grease and stuff in places it shouldn't be and a good cleaning and I actually bought an extra caliper and then found out all I had to do was uh, I used my caliper press and I pressed it in and then sprayed some um I actually sprayed some penetrating oil, which is probably not a good idea to do. I just think about it on my brakes. And then the whole thing started moving again, so it was just seized up. Uh, and then I almost went through the windshield right after I fixed it <laughs> because I didn't expect it to stop. Uh, working our way back, I changed out the front uh, reflectors, front side markers, side marker turn signals with LEDs. And this one recently has died, uh, passenger side, or driver's side, so i got to fix that again. Way. I'm just trying to think what else I've done. Oh, wiper blades? That doesn't matter. Coming in the cabin, uh, everything behind the dash now is LED. It, it's still dim as hell, and I don't like it, but it'll work. It's all LED bulbs in here everywhere it can be, except for, uh, I think the turn signals are still... No, those are LED. I couldn't remember. There was something that I couldn't change LED because it would stay on all the time. So I changed that back to uh, incandescent. 
but maybe I'll try to get some brighter ones because it just seems so dim in here. Just looking, looking, looking. Cleaned it once or twice. Um, pulled off that window tint like to here ish on the windshield so if I sat upright I was like I couldn't see the lights because it was so tinted I was like I couldn't see the, the, the stop lights well so I was like I ripped all that off cleaned the windshield up oh I missed a spot I gotta get some uh, more goo gone apparently in here and I scrape it with my scraper that you do the uh, inspections and stuff with uh, keep coming back keep coming back clean 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 uh, had to find the sensor or the the connector for OBD1, which was supposed to be back here and is actually behind my seat. That wasn't fun. Uh, I took, took the center console partially apart, greased everything in there, got that running better. Took both the chairs out and greased the bottom of them because they would not move. Like, they were so stiff from rust and stuff, so I took them apart, cleaned them off, uh, lithium greased them, lithium greased both doors, making them easier. Uh, sunroof, I replaced all the hardware on it, which was, which was fun. Uh, FuroStore.com, if you guys don't know, is amazing. And I found a spacer for this. I think it's in here somewhere. There's a spacer I can 3D print and make it thicker. Because this is, uh, like, it doesn't leak water, but if I hit if I hit the car wash with it, which probably you guys can yell at me for that too. I go through the car wash with it. Uh, water sometimes shoots in there, I think, because of the pressure difference. Like, it's pulling up on it. So I think maybe a little more capture better. Uh, and this is all the stuff I'm thinking of as I'm going. I should probably just read off my list, right? Um, okay, let's just go to the engine. What have I done? Oil change, obviously. Uh, I've changed out some other fluids too, but oil change is a big one. Uh, bought a new serpentine belt because I was having some issues. It was squealing really bad. Uh, that ended up being the alternator. And um, Oh, when I bought the car, I was told it wasn't the 2.8 liter. It was a different engine because they didn't make the 2.8 liter, but it really was a 2.8, which I, it didn't really matter to me what engine was in it because I just wanted the car for what it is as long as it ran. But it would have been cooler if it was the 3.1 or the 3.4, but it's the 2.8. Uh, it's slow, but it's fun. LEDs, yep. Passenger motor, yep. yep. Um, okay, so let's get to the big thing I did. Uh, I blew an alternator. Basically, the uh, voltage fluctuations would just be like all over the place, and I couldn't figure out why. I was trying everything besides replacing the alternator because everybody online told me alternators were a pain in the ass to fix on this, which honestly, I, I didn't have that big of a problem. I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I, I came down to the alternator, turned it, moved it, moved it, dropped it out. Like, it wasn't as big of a deal as I thought people were making online. But it did cause me some problems. So I had some power fluctuations. I blew. That's when I blew the headlights. It was nighttime. I'm driving down the highway, and both headlights go out. Luckily, my buddy from work was, uh, we were going to the same location for work. I go, hey, you're on the highway, right? He goes, yeah. I go, can you, like, I'm pulled over my four ways on. Can you follow me to the next exit? We'll drop my car at the, the uh, rest stop that's there. And then we'll go in your truck all the way to where we got to go. And I'll pick it up on the way back when it's light out. And I'll drive it back and then I'll fix it. And luckily he was still behind me. So that worked out. It was terrifying driving on a 65 mile an hour highway with no lights for about a mile. Because I was like, what am I going to do? Like it was just becoming daylight, but still. Uh, so with that, I added a serpentine belt tensioner. Because these cars did not come with a tensioner. What you do is you take the, uh, the alternator and you unscrew it. And you pull on it until it's tight. And you tighten it back up. But the belt wears it gets loose so i put an actual tensioner on it which will be easier for alternator changes and that solved all my alternator problems um also in the back in the engine bay i've done plugs uh wires distributor distributor rotor or distributor cap not distributor itself rotor cap i uh, gave it a tune up basically and getting some of those spark plugs out was a pain but they were rusty so that didn't help so I'm going to try to like check those every year and at least pull them out and put them back in like once a year just to keep them fresh. Uh, again, brakes in the back. I've cleaned them several times, uh, messed with a couple of them just to get them balanced. And I've tried to balance the emergency brake, but I'm not doing a good job at it. So I have to play with that some more. Uh, I've changed all the a bunch of bulbs in the back in the rear to LED. And we'll go, actually, let's go look at that. Put my, put my fingerless gloves back on, my driving gloves. Let's go look at, uh, turn this on too. We'll open that up. We'll do another walk around of the car with the uh, with the lights on. Yeah, buddy. Uh, came tinted. The windows came tinted to this, and I don't like it, but whatever. But last time I was back here, everything worked. All the lights are on. Uh, the Pontiac actually lights up, but it's kind of dark in the daylight. Maybe I'll get a couple shots of it at night now that this thing's live. Oh, I got another marker light out, I think. Yep. So I got two marker lights out. Rear... Uh, passenger rear and this front one's out. 
double check the front. Everything's working up here. Uh, yeah, so the lights are, they're two different style lights, but they work, so we'll change it out and we'll fix the paint. This marker light works. Yeah. Um, so a lot of plans for this car. Mostly I wanna, I wanna get through this winter with it. And Heather and I are looking to buy a house. And then it'll sit in the garage. So it'll be a summer car when I'm done with it. But right now it's an all season car. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh man, I gotta stop doing that. So I think that's pretty much about it. Let's uh, do a start up for you lady. I'm gonna put a camera out back of this thing. We'll start it up, let you hear the exhaust a little bit. Give it a couple revs. Where's my other camera? Yeah, buddy. And then maybe we'll go for a little ride around uh, Buff State. A little spin and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Pretty, pretty much done. I'm hungry. You guys hungry? Let's get some food. Okay, let's go set this thing up. I've showed you everything I want to show you. Let's go. Uh, let's go play in the snow a little. No, I'm just kidding. We don't. I don't like to play with this car. It's a. It's an older car. It doesn't like to. It does like to slide out. Uh, but with the the weight in the back, it's much nicer. But I want to. I actually just want to drive around for a second. And where are we going? Let's go straight through this little snowbank here. It's not really a bank. This is supposed to get like 12 inches of snow today, so I wanted to get this video done before it all hit. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Not what I meant to do, but it'll do it. Now, one thing, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. There's a slight squeak in the back somewhere. I think it's a rear wheel bearing. Oh, I swapped the two front wheel bearings out. One was squeaking really bad, the other one wasn't. So I just swapped them both out, but now the rears went. I have the rears at home, but no garage in this weather. Does this make me a YouTube, a car YouTuber now? <gasps> a car tube? Oh, I was gonna turn music on. Copyright infringement, buddy. Sane Asylum in Buffalo that's now a hotel and conference center. <laughs> right on Buff State's campus, basically. These guys are plowing. I'm just driving around. Uh, this place is cool. I really like it. Minus that. What a neat place. I should come back here and take pictures. Like, of the car, the bikes, Heather. You know, all the cool stuff in my life.
YouTube. I think that's, uh, that's about it for the video. I think we are we are up to date on Fiero stuff. And I finally, finally brought it to you guys. Um, like I said, I was shooting for perfection. I got a problem with that. I want I want things a very certain way. But I wanted this car like running really nice before I showed it to everybody. And I was like, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna be, it's gonna take time. And then you guys have already missed out on all these things I've talked about I fixed. So it's like, come on, Zan, just show them what you got, show them how you're gonna fix it, fix it. My ideas. So so we'll uh we'll bring you along and everything. Along with um, I was trying to shoot for some kind of perfection with this E125 engine thing. And uh, that video should come out soon. I gotta I gotta keep working on it. Engine's still apart in my living room at this moment, and I gotta uh, I gotta fix it. But I was trying to shoot for something different with that, and I, I I can't seem to get there. And I'll I'll explain that in that video too. But mostly, I wanted things like professional done, and I'm I'm not a professional. I I mean, I'm quote unquote I'm professional as a human being, but my my work is not professional. Like it needs to be flawless victory. Peace.